On the ASH panel for transplantation and sickle cell disease, we're trying to come up with the first set of guidelines uh, for utilization of this potentially curative strategy uh, in this disease. At first it was difficult because we're trying to make recommendations based on evidence, which is important, but there's not a lot of evidence in the literature. So we've had to uh, become creative at times to find the data to be able to address the questions that we've posed. We have a, a grade methodologist and we have a number of adult and pediatric uh, providers that take care of patients with sickle cell disease and also investigators who are performing bone marrow transplantation and sickle cell disease. But most importantly, we have two patient representatives. There were previously no recommendations regarding bone marrow transplantation for sickle cell disease, though there are publications that demonstrate that it is indeed curative, uh, especially in the pediatric setting. So we were trying to assemble all of the published literature so we could answer really three important questions. One, who should get a transplant if they have sickle cell disease? The second is, how should that transplant be performed? And the third is, when? Uh, you know, younger patients, older patients, for example. It is really important to have guidelines for transplantation because we all sort of get used to doing things the way we do them. So if you're at a bone marrow transplant center that does bone marrow transplants in a certain way for most diseases, you tend to apply that kind of transplant to everyone, including sickle cell disease. And we know that there are aspects of sickle cell disease that require that we modify the way we approach a bone marrow transplant. So I think the guidelines are going to help both the clinicians and the patients to at least consider bone marrow transplantation as a potential treatment of their disease. I think for me personally, the most rewarding outcome from our panel would be to see a further uptick in the use of potentially curative therapies in sickle cell disease that result from these recommendations, that patients got a hold of these recommendations providers got a hold of these recommendations and they put them into practice.